Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of How to Play Mind Test. In this episode, we are going to discuss something I have been skirting for a long time, and that is creative mode. Um, this is Hogwarts video number 40, and uh, didn't get a whole lot done in 40 episodes, hate to say that, and I think it's been like a year since I started building Hogwarts, so yeah. I figured it was time to bust out creative mode and get some actual work done. So, the first thing we're going to do is take you on a little tour of everything that I have done in creative mode in three days, as compared to what it took me a year to do. So, um, we'll hop into fly mode here so we can move around. And you will notice very, very quickly what I was able to do. I got all the windows in. Well, almost all the windows. Um, I was able to get walls in, um, got the north tower finished up real quick, even inside here I was able to get quite a few more floors done, um, around the back here, got all the roof on, everything, this is the one side I haven't finished with windows yet, um, but yeah, it's creative mode, it's fast, that's the moral of this episode. Um, so to show you how creative mode works, we will pop open our inventory here, and um, this gives you just access to pretty much everything here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab some glass, if I can remember which one it's in. Is it a node? <coughs> There it is, glass pane. So we're going to grab that one. We will also grab... Where's my cobblestone stairs? Right there. And we'll just use these two as an example of how creative mode works. So, I only have one item, but I can build it infinite times. So you see that? So what creative mode does is it lets you build things really, really fast without having to go and find everything and build it and get all your pieces lined up which initially when I started playing I felt was somewhat like cheating <laughs> basically oh, I want to build something but I don't want to have to earn the right to build it by just turning on creative mode well I've since decided that's not the case um, however I do recommend going for a while without creative mode just so that you can earn your spurs so to speak um, so that you realize, okay, glass panes, um, that would be digging up a whole bunch of sand, and then, uh, cooking the sand to get glass blocks, and then making enough glass blocks to turn them into glass panes, and then there you go. Um, just to see how much actual sand it would have taken to do all of Hogwarts. Um, the only other build that I have done that you guys have seen using creative mode is the Tower of Pisa and that's because I was on um, the it was the red lobster, blue lobster server um, and they gave me creative privileges because I'm a youtuber and they're like hey here have creative privileges so you can build whatever you want so um, that was awfully kind of them and I did use it in that one to get access to some really cool uh, blocks and pieces so that I can make the Tower of Pisa look pretty genuine. Um, if you haven't seen that video series, I will try to put a link. It's not really a series, it's like four episodes or five episodes, something like that, where I build the entire Tower of Pisa with an intentional shift in the blocks. It ended up being a real big headache by the time I was done. But um, that's the only other one I've used creative mode on. So as you can see, I mean, we we're just pounding this out, which is pretty much what I was doing uh, the last three days, um, just getting everything built and to the point where we can just get this thing over with. I knew it was going to be a large build. I didn't realize it was going to take me a whole year just to get this far. I was really hoping to be done in like six months, but 
when you only post one video a week, you don't move very fast. So, um, my sons have come up with some other things that they want to build, but they want to do it for the YouTube channel here. So, I decided let's go ahead and break out creative mode and get Hogwarts done so we can move on to those other what we're calling fun houses, uh, houses that are kind of themed. So they're really fun to look at and build and think of, hmm, could I do that? So that's going to be the next adventure we go on here is building those fun houses. But for this episode and the next episode at least, um, we're going to be working in creative mode just to show you the difference of what it takes to build anything in creative mode versus uh, what they call survival mode or normal game mode. So we'll just finish up the windows on this wing here. We'll probably leave that last bank of windows. That's actually technically part of the north wing just because I don't want this video to get too terribly long, but I do want you guys to see how quickly you can build stuff just because you have it. It's just there. And the other thing that's kind of uh, unique about creative mode is everything digs as though it were dirt, so you don't need a pickaxe per se to dig anything. So let's say, oops, I put an extra thing of glass, it just it comes right out, or oops, I didn't want that brick there. And now that I have it, I can build an infinite number of them. So it's, yeah, it's creative mode. That's what it does. So anyway, just to show you guys what our windows will eventually look like here. I still need to go around the entire building and do this to them. But we're doing kind of this, whoops, that didn't work. Get a steep enough angle. There we go. Nope. Aha! Got it. Anyway, that's what our windows will eventually look like. But yeah, in just that much time, we blocked all that out. And normally I'd go, 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 and run out right in the middle here somewhere, and then have to go and get more glass. And so, with creative mode, you just do it. You build as much as you want. Anyway, um, so we'll finish circling the outside here so you can see everything that we've done. This side has been windowless for a long time, so that was one of the first things I did. And then originally I had panes in here, but <clears throat> on this other side they weren't flipping correctly, so I just went ahead and pulled all those out. Besides, the owls need a way to get in and out to everybody, so that's how I chose to do that. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Um, next video I'm going to do a build from scratch in creative mode, just so that you can see what that entails. It's not much different than building it when you've already accumulated everything, but you don't have to worry about running out of stuff. So, Anyway, we will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until then, go build something.